SQL versus no SQL which one should you choose while designing the system every day millions of bytes of data are generated so we need efficient system to store it these systems are called as databases data in database is stored in two main formats that is structured and unstructured data which is also known as SQL and no SQL databases the schema that is number of columns and their types in SQL database is fixed because of which each row requires constant space for storing a data which allows us to store data in contiguous location on the hard disk since we know how and where data is stored we can perform reading and writing operation faster we can use indexes if we know actual address of a rows in the hard disk so first advantage of sql database is reading and writing operations become faster next and probably most important feature of sql is acid properties acid stands for atomicity consistency isolation and durability acid property become very important if you are working on banking and payment applications such as phone pay you can check out my youtube video to understand about acid properties this acid properties are available only if data is stored in a single machine however when volume of data increases we have to store data on multiple machine which doesn't support acid properties so sql is not a good option when you are dealing with huge amount of data now let's understand some scenario where we should avoid using sql database sql is a relational database which means that it has fixed schema that gives us advantages such as faster searching however when the schema of a table changes means if we add new columns then we have to update value of that column for all the rows which is time consuming operation so sql is not good choice for databases where the schema changes frequently sql allocates data to all the columns even if rows doesn't have value for that column so if we have many columns which doesn't contain a value sql will end up allocating the space for all the rows which leads to the wastage of memory therefore you should avoid using sql if you think some columns in your table may not contain the value acid properties of sql doesn't support when you store data on multiple machine so you should avoid using sql if you are dealing with large amount of data another way to to store data in database is in unstructured format this type of database we store data in unstructured format meaning data has less fixed or no schema is called as no sql database this type of database is a collection of all the types of databases except sql no sql database usually store record in key value format since no sql database have less fixed or no schema they become perfect for the use cases where schema of your table is frequently changing meaning if you are adding columns into semi structured data or new key into the key value pair then we don't have to update all the rows or all the records in the database for adding the new column no sql doesn't store data in contiguous location so if the columns or some key don't have the value then it will not allocate space for it which makes it good choice for the use cases where columns have lot of blank values many no sql database comes with a built in support for sharding meaning we can store data on multiple machine efficiently so if we deal with a large amount of data then no sql becomes good choice for you now let's discuss scenarios where you should not select no sql database first no sql does not support acid properties so if you are building payment application such as phone pay then you should not use no sql database second there is no structure to data so it's very difficult to predict where actual data in the hard disk is stored meaning data is not stored in contiguous location so searching can be little bit slower than sql therefore for small amount of data no sql database is not a good choice so let's summarize this video if you have small amount of data then sql works best and if you have huge amount of data then no sql works best if you need acid properties then select sql database and if you don't require them then select no sql database if schema is frequently changing then select no sql database else select sql database that's it for today's video you can check out my video on acid properties to learn more about them follow my channel for more such videos